Listen to me carefully. This is a very deep-rooted intelligence that I'm bringing your way. As you are planning for this protest, they are also planning. Oh yes. As you are getting this intelligence, I'm about to drop here. Share this video. Share this video. Let it get to everybody that would want to be a part of this protest. Which one is that would want? Everybody should be a part of this protest because <laughs> if this protest fails, Chief Oya Otilo, you can see the amount of money they are pushing in to make sure that this protest does not stand. If this protest fails, forget it. Otilo, they will always use money to scatter our protest anytime, any day. This, this is what we want to do now. Eh? Now, in fact, now the determining protest for all future protests. Because this government, they mean on now. They mean on our water, curiously. Now, why I say if you get this intelligence, now intelligence, how many people they call them? Police, they call them intelligence. Information. If you get this intelligence stroke information that I'm about to drop here, share it. Let's get to all and sundry. Because if we fail, hey, Chief Oguala Otilo. Any protest, you want to play for another? I could use an end to that one. I'm going to start with me at the talk. Any protest with multiple demands is bound to fail. We must have just one demand that every other demand will fall under. What do I mean? One demand that covers every other demand. <laughs> one demand that covers every other demand. What is that demand? You want to know? Share this video. As you get a, share this video. This is that one demand. Listen to it very well. Come to the comment section. Tell me what you think. Share this video. Watch. I tell you now before, anger is not a plan. Say you the vex or government no be strategy. You. Make we not let ourselves carry hunger because hunger there our belly carry hunger enter protest at the end we achieve nothing. Make we not go through a way opportunity where we get to achieve one important thing for our country. You see about this protest, I don't talk and before. If you want to see a protest that is bound to fail, protest will no go succeed. It is a protest with multiple demands. Protest will get too many demands. If you want to know a protest that is likely to succeed, that is a protest will get determination from the people with one strong demand where fit cover all the other demands. That is why all this one will not they talk. If you uh, uh, if your own problem na election, add them to the list. If your own problem na inflation, add them to the list. My people with the play. Ask yourself the question you want to protest against bad government, economy, inflation, fuel, this, that. Bad police, bad economy, bad civil service, bad judiciary, bad health sector. Now who born them? Who be the mama? Bad government. How bad government they take enter into office through elections? We must pay attention to the cause and not the symptom. What we are chasing are symptoms. The major issue in this country is electoral reform. If you do not fix your elections, my dear brothers, we go continue to the protest for all our life. By the time they come and come tell us, okay, we don't do one, we don't bring price of rice down or this and that. And another person will was past the one where you know, rig himself into office. How many years of our life won't take the protest? Later, when I go to talk, say, uh, see for Kenya, see for what have you learned from Kenyans? The Kenyan protest began with one demand withdraw the finance bill. After the withdraw finance bill, they enter into corruption. They continue protesting for uh, let, uh, this in law enforcement brutality, um, uh, uh, journalist press freedom. It has to be one strategic thing that brings everybody under one umbrella. That is why I'm telling you that this protest has to be about occupying the National Assembly for electoral reform. So that the protest is not we against anybody. It is a peaceful demonstration by all of us for better Nigeria. After all, the president said he be Democrat. Senators, they, they call themselves Democrats. I be Democrats, no one like free and fair election. 
Mr. President, Senior President, do you have problem with free and fair election? So make we go meet God's will at Pabio, Senior President and the Speaker, Tajuddin Nabas. We go camp with them for National Assembly. Forget this one where they say that they recess. Anyhow, where they run, they go come back. We, we mount with Tuna for here with mattress, with stove and pot they cook. Mr. Senior President, you go continue, he will meet you too for, for National Assembly. If you were able to pass new anthem under two days, you can pass an electoral bill under two weeks. We stay with you. We have constitutional experts, electoral experts, human rights lawyers. The INEC chairman must go and we begin to overhaul INEC. We must unbundle the electoral system. The 117 billion where Mahmoud Yakubu say take build INEC server where get glitch. Let it be outsourced to Nigerian youth to build a protected server with back end system and let them mount it to ensure that there is transparency in the electoral system. Let, uh, 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 what do they call them? Electoral experts look at the loopholes in the electoral act and close them to ensure that 2027 is secured. We go test and we do elections and they come in on door own. Then we prepare for, against 2027. Let it, independent panels be set up, whether now youth, market, we, uh, women, non-governmental organizations, civil society, religious, traditional leaders, everybody should be involved. At the monitoring, let electronic transmission of results be compulsory. My fellow com compatriots, once you are able to achieve free and fair elections in the country, you don't solve 50% of the problem. All, everything about a democracy is strong institutions, beginning with a strong electoral system. From there, you can begin to fix your judiciary, your law enforcement systems, and all of that. If you fail to do so, you they shout end bad governance. Let us do this end bad governance. You they protest against bad governance to bad government. Who want and who want do am? And let me tell you, if you they think for your mind, say somebody go resign, maybe president or see for Nigeria, my dear brother, you the joke. Nobody go resign. And assuming say person actually resign, that you put pressure so the person resign, who go come in can take over? It must come through the electoral process. Elections do not only produce government, they give legitimacy to government so that anybody will come will have the legitimacy of governance and will not be seen as an impostor. So we must treat the cause and not the symptom. Let us not chase shadows, saying a rise in inflation because people they hungry. If you they hungry, 2027, if person where was come, you go still hung out, suffer head go still deal. How many years of your life you won't use the protest? You get one mechanic where they fix your motor. He knows I've been waiting. They do. He don't cut them. He don't cut revire. Don't spoil everything. And he's insisting that you cannot get another mechanic. You must fix the process and allow you to bring an expert to fix it now. If you know one end inflation, if you know one bring down cost of governance, they not be with you. Salam alaikum. But give yourself the opportunity to pick somebody who can fix it for you. For goodness sake. After they go see how they speak too much English, see Nigerians who are the underrate me. All these things, advice and talk what they give now. If I carry, if they carry me go America now, they go love me. They go love me because I go advise them. I go tell them. See, 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 you you understand me? Electoral reform is the bane of the issue. Let the protest be about electoral reform. From there, you can begin to say, okay, oh, we want to talk about this. All this one, say, sack, uh, uh, IG of police, control, uh, custom this one, this and that. Everybody to sack. At the end, you achieve nothing. Politics is a game of numbers. Political protests and movements are politics, are political. The majority, the better. Give people, everybody a sense of belonging. Even governments go join to protest. Police are supposed to join. I myself, I do you not like good country. You're supposed to be part of them. I beg on Nigerians, help me tag them. All the organizers and everybody. Even myself, whether they talk now, tomorrow they go say to me, they do this thing. But I mount for peaceful protest. Nigeria must be good in my lifetime. My goodness. For over a decade, this has been the birthplace of innovation. Innocent Vehicles is a testament to resilience, employing international best practices to create more than just a car. Every vehicle here tells a story of durability, fuel economy and safety. Crafted with the African spirit, the Nigerian heart. These vehicles surrounding me embody the unique concept of regionalization each one designed to cater to the tastes and preferences of our people. From the streets in Nigeria to the terrains of the Sahara, these vehicles are designed for our roads, for our people. This is more than a vehicle. It's a symbol of our progress, our resilience, our collective success story. Your feedback drives us to continuously innovate and improve. Innocent Vehicle, the pride of African roads.